First at five, Democratic leaders have voted in committee to move South Carolina's Democratic primary to the first in the country. If it becomes official, that means South Carolina Democrats would now vote in the presidential primary ahead of Iowa and New Hampshire. Those states have been first for years. President Joe Biden asked party leadership to consider the move, and our Taggart Houck is following it. He joins us in studio now. Tag. Yeah, good evening. You both. Right now, South Carolina is fourth in the nation when it comes to primaries, and it could be first overall. If it is, it would bring a major economic boost. The vote passed committee today, but it is not a done deal yet. It's a good night. More than two years ago, Joe Biden won his first ever primary in South Carolina. And it seems to be getting even better. Now he's trying to push the state from fourth to first overall, jumping states like Iowa and New Hampshire. In a statement from Biden, quote, for decades, black voters in particular have been the backbone of the Democratic Party, but have been pushed to the back of the early primary process. It is time to stop taking these voters for granted and time to give them a louder and earlier voice in the process. It's very exciting for all of us. In an interview with our Nigel Robertson, state Democratic Party chairman Trav Robertson said presidential primaries can bring millions. It adds anywhere from 50 to 200 million dollars to our local economy and state economy. And that's a significant boom for our states. Political experts see the move as a way of paying back South Carolina for support from Representative Jim Clyburn and a primary win. Biden finished first here and never looked back. So in some sense, the president owes South Carolina uh, in a big way. In the last several elections, most winners of South Carolina's primary for both parties earned the nomination. George W. Bush, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, and Joe Biden. The exception was in 2012 when voters chose Newt Gingrich over Mitt Romney. South Carolina has, um, you know, a, a good balance of urban and rural voters, uh, and certainly a good balance between black and white voters and a growing Hispanic population. Uh, we also have, you know, different parts of the state. We've got a coastal part, and we've got a Midlands and a mountain part, and, and, and they attract different kinds of people. It will still have to be approved by the full DNC in a vote likely early next year. New Hampshire and Iowa, as you can imagine, are not happy. It is not clear what action they may take as states. Sydney.